guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm gonna finally give you guys the room tour you guys have all been asking about. Um, if you guys don't know already, I have been making over my room to look like a princess castle on a budget and I'll show you guys how I do that later. Um, but yeah, this video will be a makeover slash room tour. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is what I'm working with. I started off by painting the white walls a soft cream color, technically known as nice white. So now that the paint is dried, I wanted to recreate the paneling you see in palaces, but a bit more modernized and simple like the Plaza Hotel. So I made a rough sketch with the measurements and made a guideline using tape so I could prevent making any mistakes and see how it would look before applying the panels. So now that the guideline is up, I began cutting wainscoting panels I bought at the home improvement shop for $4 a pop. Then I started stapling the panels into the wall where I put the tape and that's it, super easy. So I was originally going to leave the panels white, but considering I was going to have a lot of decor and portraits, white paneling can be too much. So to achieve a softer look, I ended up painting them the same color as the walls. So now that the walls are done, a cheap way to make your room look more expensive than it is, is by installing fancy outlets. Now moving on to the ceiling. I bought this white plastic medallion online for cheap, as every palace seems to have one for their chandelier. And everything I'm using will be linked down below in the description box. For the chandelier, I picked out a clear glass one with a lot of teardrops so the room shines rainbow when the sun hits it, and plus it was 80 bucks, so I had to get it. Now I do plan to paint the silver parts gold to match the theme, but for the meantime, silver will do. So I decided to get a day bed to save floor space because any bed bigger would take over the whole room. I've also decided during the day to decorate the bed to look like a royal lounge chair instead of a bed using matching covers and decorative pillows so the room feels more like a lounge room when friends come over. So here's a really good budget tip. To avoid having to buy multiple pillows for each season, just buy a few plain pillows and buy multiple pillow covers instead. It's way cheaper and easier to store if you're only swapping the covers. So right above the bed, I am placing a large vintage frame. Eventually, I will be swapping out the random dog painting for a renaissance painting of my pets, but until then, the random dogs can stay. Next, I have found a large English style dresser that matches the room. Dressers are a great way to make the room look high-end and they are a great way to organize your stuff. On top of the dresser, I decided to place all of my tiaras on an elegant cupcake stand and also add my Cinderella shoes and this amazing illustration my best friend gifted me on my birthday of us at Disney World. Now, the perfect staple to the room, this beautiful vintage vanity from the 1920s. It actually did come with a matching white chair, but it looked too countryside style, so to make the vanity look like it would come from a palace, I paired it with a fancy oval chair. On the dresser itself, I am just adding my favorite things like this gold jewelry box filled with my everyday trinkets, this egg music box, a Tiffany blue picture frame with an authentic autograph from the 1930s signed by the famous actress Helen Mack, and also a bouquet of light pink eternity roses from Grand Fleur which live up to a year and smell like a full rose bush. Alongside it, I also paired my top two favorite perfumes.
Now, another great way to store your stuff is by sticking them in a vintage style suitcase so it's a display that serves a greater purpose. On to the fun part, I am applying on each side of the vanity these gold floral sconces I found for 10 bucks second hand and sticking in realistic battery operated wax candles. Last thing you want to do is burn your house down, so this is a great alternative. For the window, I applied two gold curtains with two white sheer ones down the middle, and right next to it, I am displaying one of my favorite ball gowns on a white mannequin body to really give the room a pop of color and a fantasy element. And of course, I can't forget my most prized possession, my beautiful heart of the ocean from my favorite film, Titanic. As finishing touches, I found this beautiful wreath and a palace style doorknob to complete the look. So this is my room before, and this is my room after. Hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a thumbs up before you go if you guys have any advice diy ideas or suggestions on what to add to this room to make it look more royal and fancy make sure you comment those ideas down below and of course if you guys want more videos like this and my vintage content make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so i can see you in my next video